We were by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. He was slapping her? Yes, and then we stopped. They ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her, hopped in the car, and they drove off. That 911 call to a police dispatcher in Moab, Utah, happened August 12th, 2021. A driver says he saw a man hitting a young woman. The couple uh, would become infamously known as Brian Laundrie and Gabby Petito. I don't know, we'd have been fighting all morning, and, and he wouldn't let me in the car before. And then Why wouldn't he let you in the car? Because you have your OCD? He told me I need to calm down. It's hard to watch that video. Uh, I want to bring in News Nation's Brian Enton. We know what happened during that roadside traffic stop involving officers. We know no arrests were made. We've spoken to plenty of law enforcement experts who say uh, police didn't have enough to make an arrest at that moment. But sadly, a few weeks later, Gabby Petito was murdered. And an independent investigation found just recently uh, that both officers' actions led to unintentional mistakes that day. So what did this report find? Yeah, Adrian, they were unintentional mistakes, according to the investigators. So they say these officers didn't mean to make the mistakes that they made, uh, but there were a series of mistakes. Number one, uh, this independent investigation found that the officers should have made an arrest that there was probable cause for an arrest. And this was interesting, Adrian. Uh, they determined that it was actually Gabby Petito who should have been arrested that day. Uh, they say, based on the evidence of that specific traffic stop, it was Gabby who was the primary aggressor and that it was a big mistake uh, that the officers did not arrest her. Did they say anything as to why they didn't? They, they would have had to have some type of domestic violence charge against Gabby. Correct. Yeah. And the officers were interviewed as part of this report and basically said essentially that they felt bad for the couple, that they felt like this was just a fight uh, and that she was a young girl and they didn't feel right arresting her. So they made the decision to just separate them and send Brian to a, a hotel room. But one of the big problems, according to this independent, independent investigation, is that the officers classified this incident as disorderly conduct. Uh, the investigation found that the officers should have classified it as domestic violence because if they did, uh, it would have gone to the prosecutor's office. There would have been follow up. Uh, the couple would have been given resources to deal with it. Uh, and of course, the big question is, um, would that have changed uh, the terrible outcome? Uh, we, we all know what happened just weeks later. With Brian Laundry, you mentioned him being taken to a hotel room. He wouldn't have been taken to a jail because in this independent report, they're saying that he was not the aggressor, that Gabby was reportedly the aggressor. But what does the report say about any potential ramifications for the officers involved in this? Well, again, I, I want to emphasize that it says that their mistakes were unintentional. I, I don't want to go too much into this about conversations that I've had, but I can tell you, Adrian, that these officers feel absolutely terrible. This is a traffic stop that haunts them uh, and will haunt them for the rest of their life. Uh, so, so they are suffering in their own way right now, but the report does recommend uh, that both officers involved be placed on probation, uh, and it also says the officers and the entire department need additional domestic violence training. Well, and you'd think that this might actually uh, spark new conversations about what is domestic violence and what are the warning signs and what is the proper uh, protocol that happens during a traffic stop like this because unfortunately what happened that day happens all over the country all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's part of this report. I mean, these officers and officers all over the country have interactions like this every single day. And the hope behind this is that, uh, that this department and departments all over the country will learn from this. And from conversations I've had with Gabby Petito's family, Adrian, I can tell you that that's really their hope. I mean, they've started this foundation. They want people to learn from this incident, obviously, so it doesn't happen again. And the hope is that this report uh, will help with that. Yeah. And, and again, they felt bad having to take her in if that was at all even an option in their minds. Um, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this story on so many levels. Brian Enton, thank you so much. And, and obviously, you've covered the story extensively every step of the way. So we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.